everybody go. So it's happy about 0422 and today is my very first video that actually showed my face. The reason for that is um, I use an iPhone 4S which um, only has one view so I can't really get my own face in the picture. Yeah, so that's probably... I got a boo-boo. <laughs> okay, so in this video it will be a question and answer answer video um so i had just have to say thank you for all those people who um ask questions you're very curious people just have to say and there's hair in my face okay so um yeah so your name will be bookmarked so your name will be like for example your name and then it'll have your questions and i'll answer your questions so you can just skip ahead of the video i don't really care you don't have to watch it you can watch your own part if you like um ask a question so yeah, I hope you like it. Okay, so the first question... No, it's not really the first, but I just randomly checking it. So the first person who asked the question was Katie Girl Power Fun One. Thank you for ask, asking a question. And she asked, which birdie has been through the most in its life? Um, I would have to say Sammy. Because he's been with me the longest. He's been with me for, I think, um, five years. I have no idea. But um, he's been a lot. He's been here longer than I have brothers or sisters. So he's more like a really um, good bird to me. And, I, and I'm so blessed to have him. Okay, so you also asked that, um, what is it like hen-rearing birds? Well, um, hen-rearing birds is quite um, a challenge. Because you have to get up really early just to feed your birds because you have to feed them a certain time like if they're like like two weeks then you have to feed them like um six times a day but um it's like it takes a lot out of your time and money to raise them but it's so rewarding once they're like older and then they can eat by themselves and you have them in it like cage and all your shoulder and then it's like oh i raised this bird and he's like my bird and yeah, it's so special just to have like a baby that you raised and you know where it came from and you know it's been taken care of. So it's it's really different from getting it from a, like a breeder or a pet shop. So yeah. Me and the piggies. So um, thank you for asking questions and you asked why are you so amazing. Um, it's probably because I have such an amazing friend like you. So. It's bound to happen, so you're amazing. Everyone's amazing. I love you all. Second question you asked was, um, do you own any other animals? Um, I own I own five chickens at my auntie's place. Um, I raised them as like little chickies, but now they're like huge as things that peck you. Yeah, so I only have five other birds. Um, apart from those, and yeah. And finally, who are your best YouTube friends, buds, friends, buds? Um, it would have to be you, of course, and Chocolate Mint Love and Four Little Birdies. You guys are so amazing, and thanks for being my bestest YouTube friends. Okay, so the Cavi Help asked. What is your most favorite bird breed and who are your top five YouTubers? Okay, so my most favorite bird breed would have to be a cockatiel because they're so cute and they got this little thingy. And my top five favorite YouTubers would have to be you, guinea pigs, guinea piggies forever, um, me and the piggies, and four little birdies, and chocolate mint love. So, yeah. Okay, so your next two questions were, do you have any pets that passed away? If so, who? And why do your birds have to be so cute? Okay, so um, your first one, I would have to say, I could only remember one bird. Um, it would have to be, oh no, actually two, the little chicky and a budgie called Chuk Chuk. Oh, and a duck. Yeah, called Maria. Um, the chicky passed away because of 
She got squished. Chucky passed away because of old age, and the duckling got run over by a truck. So yeah. And why do you have to? And why do your birds have to be so cute? Um, they're so cute because when they saw your guinea pigs, it's sort of like contagious. So yeah. So your guinea pigs started it. So yeah, very cute guinea pigs. Pretty Paws 0906 asked, "Who's your most favorite birdie all among all of them?" Um, I don't really have a favorite birdie. Um, like I don't like to pick favorites, but I would have to say that I have the closest one with Monkey. With Monkey. And number two question is, what inspires you most about birds? Um, I just like having birds. Not nothing inspires me really. Um. Yeah, I don't really know how to answer that question. Okay, so you asked where did I get my birdies. Okay, so I got a couple of my birdies from my uncle, which he's also... Okay. Um, my uncle is a bird breeder, so I got... I um He rescued a couple, so I got some of those. And Sammy Minnie had babies, so... All the cockatiels, all the baby cockatiels, I raised on my own. So, yeah. And what's your favorite bird breed? It has to be cockatiel or budgie. Or, or wild birds, I would say eagles or, yeah. Or one of those, like, peacocks. Like, Okay, so how do you convince your parents to let you have so many birds? Um, it didn't really take much convincing since they had birds too. And we are, um, we're like obsessed with birds. I'll, I'll, I'll like make a video at the end of this video to show you like my garden. It's like full of bird stuff. Cause um, yeah. So my, my family's like bird crazy. Okay, so the next lot of questions were asked by SoFabes123. And she asked, what is your fave type of birdie? And how old are you? Okay, so my fave type of bird is probably cockatiel. And how old am I? I'm 13 turning 14 on April 22nd. Yeah. Okay, so the next three questions you asked were, what is your dream job later for, or what is your dream job for later on in life? Um, it would most probably be a veterinarian, of course, an avian veterinarian. That's my number one dream job. That is the thing I want to do when I grow up. And the next question is, what bird have you had the closest bond with? I think Moki, because Moki's the one with the outgoing personality. And yeah, she just likes being with me, and that's probably why. And the final question is, what is it like living in Australia? Well, I really love Australia. Australia is like, I, don't, I haven't been to many countries, but um, Australia it has like the perfect weather, especially for my birds, because it's not too hot, not too cold at times. Yeah, so it's a really great place to live. And for Little Birdies asked, she's feeling very questioning. So she asked, who was your first birdie? It would have to be Chucky. If you check in my new intro, um, Chucky was my very, f I mean, no, not Chucky, Sammy. Sammy was my very first um, birdie. Oh, my very first cockatiel, but my very first birdie was a budgie named Chucky. That, that's where I got mixed up. A budgie named Chucky. And yeah, so he was very, he was half tamed. Yeah. So what is your favorite thing to do? That would have to be, I play soccer and I love playing with my birds. So that's my favorite thing to do. And if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I would go mm, to London. L London seems like a really good place to go. And I love London so much because like One Direction's in it. We don't know what they are. Okay, so if you could choose any pet to get as your next pet, what would it be? I would have to choose any pet. So wild or tamed. I, I don't know. If it has to be tamed, I would have to say guinea pig. If it's wild, I would have to say capybara. Capybara? Capybara. No, it's like one of those, like, it looks like a huge guinea pig, but it's like massive guinea pig. Yeah. And your final question is, who is your biggest inspiration on YouTube? Um, mine would have to be Teals40. She 
She's got like heaps of birds and she inspires me a lot. She motivates me to do the best with my birds and yeah, so yeah, I love her channel so much. And a random question you asked was what is Moki's favorite type of veggie? What do you think, Moki? Moki? Okay, so um she likes carrots and corn. I'm climbing the walls, but you and Chocolate Mint Love asked, um, thank you for asking questions by the way. What do you enjoy doing the most? I would have to say taking care of my birds because they deserve a lot since they've helped me through times. So yeah, I love taking care of my birds. That's the thing I like to do the most. If you have one wish in the world, what would it be? I would uh, um, wish for more wishes. Yeah, that's a good one. And what did you dream about last night? I think, I think, I think I dreamt about like I was on clouds and I was eating fairy floss and there was this random clown that jumped out of nowhere and, oh, no, <laughs> never mind. And your next questions are, seen anything weird lately? Um, okay, so I just saw magpies mating right over there. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but it's a circle of life. Okay. So... If you could become a multi-millionaire overnight, what would you buy? Um, multi-millionaire. I would buy, like, a whole house, but for my birds. Like, a mansion for my birds. Ow. <laughs> yeah. You like that monkey, do you? Yeah, I would buy a mansion for my birds, definitely. And your last two questions are, what is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? Um, I would think about... What would Moki be thinking? Yeah, I, I always think that because Moki's very noisy. How are you doing? Yeah, and, <laughs> and your final question is, if you could eat lunch with one famous person, who would it be? It would have to be One Direction, even though there's like five of them. But yeah, I would do anything to eat lunch with them. They're like awesome, amazing. You should Google it if you don't know who they are. Oh my gosh, you're so fluffy. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. Sorry. The Parrot Care Channel. Okay, so you asked, um, so who are my best YouTube friends? It would have to be me and the piggies, um, four little birdies, and chocolate mint love. And but everyone's my friend, and I love you all. So no hard feelings, but. They just has they they have been with me like and supported me like the longest. And your next question is, have you wanted other pets? I have been wanting a dog for myself, but um yeah, it's not really possible since I have like lots of birds. And do you have any pets that passed away? I had like three birds, I think, a budgie, a, a baby cockatiel, and a duckling. And which was really sad. Yeah, and I, I, I answered your next questions. Yeah, so thank you for asking questions. Okay, so the question asking queen, small help, small pet help for you. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that wrong. Asked, how did you become interested in birds? Well, it started when I was like a little girl. Well, when I was like a little girl, I've been exposed to birds since my uncle is a breeder. So I had this like really big like galahs and all these other birds. I, I didn't have any cockatiels, but like every other bird except for cockatiels, which is really weird. Yeah, so that's how it kind of flourished from there. So that's how I got different birds. Monkey. Okay, so um, the next question is, how old were you when you got your first bird? I think I was like really young. I think I was a couple of months and I was like, I got I got a duckling. Yeah, that was really special. She was so cute and she used to chase me around. <laughs> okay, and um, next question is, do you love me? Of course I do. I love everyone. I was a little bit weird, but of course I do. <laughs> okay, um, and the last two questions is, have you thought about getting other pets? Um, I have thought a lot. I love animals so much, so... Um, I have thought about it and 
I might be getting a guinea pig. I'm begging my mum, but so far she's saying no, which I'm really devastated about. But um, I'm still gonna beg. Mikey pooed on me again! <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry about Mikey. She's like, she, she had a spaz at that moment. So I put her back in the cage. Okay, so you asked, have you thought about getting, I think I answered this. Yeah, I have. I've thought about, yeah, I already told Um, yeah, and dogs. I've thought about getting dogs, but my mum said no. So I'm only allowed to have small pets. And why did you start YouTube? I didn't really like, for, I just started it so I can like comment on people's like videos. I didn't plan on making any videos of my own. But like, and, and 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 once like I started, then it's like really fun. So I'm never gonna look back. So. Okay, so that's the end of all the questions, and I hope you like my answers. And I have to say thank you for asking. And you are very nice people, and I love you so much. And rate, comment, like, subscribe. Okay, thank you. you, don't know you're beautiful.